Welcome back to Stormworks. I made a little toy. It's called the Boxcar because it fits inside of a standard shipping crate. I wanted to build the best rover I could within the shipping crate's size, so as you can see, uh, it folds out and you have a very wide wheelbase. I tried to use the largest wheels and the biggest suspension I could manage, uh, and uh, I think I put together a pretty good rover. Now, in this game, the wheels are not treated very well. They're they're pretty rough, so uh, the car has to do a lot of calculations to try and determine whether you're in an out-of-control spin and what to do about it. So it's it's helping you to do that drifting, uh, so you don't roll out too much, you don't uh, you don't lose control much at all. Um, of course, this is not in sport mode. There is a sport mode which allows you to go faster, but it is a bit dangerous. So you know we won't uh, we won't ruin our take with that just yet. Now, if we take a look at the battery, you can see it is stuck at one. That's because we are using the clutch flutter glitch. Although, to tell you the truth, we burn a lot of battery in this car because these wheels are all battery powered to give us the best torque possible. Um, so I needed a lot of generators to, to make up for the difference. As you can see, there are like, I don't know, six small generators back there. Let's talk about some of the features. If we get back out, you can see that it folds back into a shipping crate. Uh, you can just carry it around like any other shipping crate and drop it into any shipping crate stack you'd like. Um, it'll be hard to stack another shipping crate on top of it, I guess, but other than that, it works like a normal crate. Back here, you can see the engine that we're using and all of the generators we're generating power from. Uh, and uh, over here in front, we've got all of our emergency gear. Let's go over to the sunny side. All of our emergency gear here, defibrillators, fire extinguishers, welders, first aid kits, uh, you know, transponders in case you fall overboard, uh, flare guns, remote controls. I rather like the remote controls because um, if we pull out a remote control here, I think we're not on the right channel with this one. No, I have to... Oh. There's only eight channels? All right. There we are. So you can see that I can use the remote control and drive these cars around as I please. And of course, that allows me to control any number of these cars. So there's another one over there, driving around, same as this one. Where did the other one go? There it is. <laughs> Just some fun. Uh, now that has a pretty long range, and there's also a video component, so you can see what the car sees through this camera up here. It's not an ideal camera, but it'll do. Um, so, you know, if you decide you need that sort of stuff. It's also got a connector on the back, and I forgot a block. We'll be putting that block back in before I, before I publish it. Uh, so all told, it's just a fun little car that does a lot of hard work to to fit inside of the size it's supposed to fit inside of and also to pack in all those features because cars are tough in this game at least fast cars are tough it's uh, it's pretty easy to do slow cars but the instant you do a fast car oh man you are in for some trouble because the wheels do not work right and that's that's been acknowledged he's working on them he's trying to fix it so we are going to uh, try flying a car uh, and dropping it and i'll show you the last feature so we'll just come over and pick up one of these cars. Now, if you know of any secrets to make this docking procedure easier, uh, do let me know. I, uh, I haven't figured out the best way to do it yet. Uh, I'm thinking about using the new laser camera, but I haven't figured out the best way to set that up. Oh, that didn't work at all. Congratulations on completely failing. There we are. So now that we've got it, we can lift it up. Ah. We can go higher than that. Woohoo! Up we go. That's good enough. 
Now, it's hard to get in the car from this angle, but there are some uh, tethers you can grab hold of, some anchors so you don't fall off, and then you can just get in the pilot seat. Off we go. Poof. Now, this works whether there's someone in the pilot seat or not. It, uh, it's a pretty nice little parachute. See? Charming. Uh, so this car can be dropped, whether full or empty, uh, into anywhere you'd like. Um, some things I'm particularly proud of regarding this car's box transition, I tried a bunch of different ways of turning it back into a crate, right? Um, and some people might argue that if it doesn't have a full you know, frame, it doesn't count as a crate, but good luck making a car with a full frame. Um, I couldn't figure out any way to blow off the sides or anything. I tried for a while, uh, but it was getting too cumbersome, so they just fold away, right? The ones in front fold into a roll frame, a bumper, I think that's really nice, and the ones underneath fold up into an undercarriage, and you can see how that sort of just slots right in there. Um, and I think that those are pretty good ways to do it. I think it helps make the car sturdier rather than crappier, uh, even though it is, you know, transforming. I also like how I used the fences back here. These are, these are fence objects, and I, I think that turned out really good. Anyway, if you want it, go ahead and grab it. If you don't want it, then don't grab it. <laughs> Bye.